So in this video, I'm going to show you a young man who at the age of 26 received about 3000 grafts for his hairline and his temple points. You can see the progression of baldness, how after the hair transplant, his baldness remained unchecked. Why unchecked? Because he was not taking a DHT blocker. The hair transplant result is maintained. Whatever little result has come from the hair transplant with 3000 grafts done elsewhere in another clinic. So in this young man, you can see how baldness will continue to progress after hair transplant if the genetic progression remains unchecked. This young man received a hair transplant at the age of 26. About 3000 grafts were done elsewhere in another clinic for the hairline, the temple points. But looking at his donor area, it seems that not many hair grew. Nonetheless, the baldness continued to progress further because he was not ready to take finasteride as he says, or probably he was reluctant to take finasteride, even though the doctor who treated him, who did his hair transplant might have advised him to continue to take finasteride, but he didn't. So at the age of 32, he came to us saying that his hair transplant had failed, which it had not. Whatever grafts had grown out of the 3000 grafts that were transplanted were still there. It is only that the baldness had progressed much more because he had not taken a DHT blocker. So we did his hair transplant using about 2250 scalp grafts, which were quite difficult to take because the donor area was almost plastered. You can see the donor area. The donor area has been so closely harvested that it has formed a confluent scar and in a confluent scar it is very difficult to harvest more grafts. Confluent scars eat up grafts which are in between these scarring points because the scar spreads. Scar spreads and makes the grafts also very difficult to harvest because they do not retain their linear nature. FUE being a blind process, there is more transaction rate. But with great difficulty from the left side, the right side, from the nape of the neck, and also from the midst of the scar, we were able to harvest about 2,250 grafts to cover the baldness which had progressed. Now the patient has come to us after two years of his hair transplant and you can see that after two years there is no progression of baldness. Why is there no progression of baldness? Because of the simple reason that he was advised finasteride and he is still continuing it even after two years. So the lesson learned from here is that till such time your baldness gene switches off, till such time the baldness stabilizes, it is essential for you to take a DHT blocker in your own interest. Follow your doctor whom you trust and you will have a good result. Thank you for watching and I look forward to meeting you in the next video. God bless you.